All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So 10 tips on how not to lose yourself in a new love relationship. You stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So again, I'm going to give you guys 10 tips on how not to lose yourself in a relationship because most of us have an issue after the relationship breaks up and then you're wondering, where do I go now? I actually did lose myself. I kind of don't know who I am. Why did I do that? How come I didn't keep up with this? How come I didn't keep up with that? So today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to still be yourself while being in a loving relationship. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into them, all right? Very first one, a lot of us fall victim to, especially when you're having someone new, which is you are constantly calling, texting, or trying to be in their company. In the very beginning, you do not want to do this. The reason why you don't want to do this is because so much stimulation from that person. When you get in person with them, you're like, crickets. Nothing to talk about. Because you have always been in contact with them. There has been no time for you to shut down and to really think about what you want to talk about, what you want to laugh about what has happened so you can share it with them because you've been sharing so much either on the phone or hitting buttons as I say texting or trying to be in their company all the time you have now put yourself in a situation where you are constantly being stimulated and that's not being shut off it actually gives you a false sense of hope and connection with the person very early on so you want the true connection and the true hope and not the false sense of hope or the false connection that comes along with being stimulated all the time by this new person so don't do that take some time to yourself this actually brings me into point number two which is for you to not lose your hobbies, your goals, and your passions. And these are the sharing moments that I was just talking about. These are the things that you can start sharing with your new boo so you can shine your light. So they can see what makes you happy. They can actually see it in your eyes, in your face when you're speaking about it. Like you're giving it all to them and they are soaking it up. They're more uh, uh, accepting and willing, to, and willing to listen and they want to hear what's been going on with you these few days that you guys haven't been talking. Third thing is for you guys not to give up your friends. I'm not saying that you have to continue your friendships the same way because it, it does get different when you're uh, when you're getting a significant other in your life. Your friends kind of go in the background, but don't give them up. Still plan dates with your friends, outings. Still plan outings with your, still plan movie dates with your friends. Like for me personally, um, he, he doesn't like to go outside of the house for movies. Especially scary movies. I'm into scary movies. So what do I do? Anytime that there is a scary movie that I really want to see, I have an outing or a date plan with somebody else who wants to see this scary movie in the theater and not wait for it to come out. So you have to keep up with some of the things that you know that you like to do. Keeps it interesting. Keeps it interesting. The fourth thing, my women, I am have to talk to you on this one. <laughs> do not not make plans for the weekend if you have not heard from him to set it up and say I want to see you on this particular day at this particular time do not wait for him make your own plans set up your own dates if you haven't heard from him I'm honestly saying by the latest is Wednesday if he haven't set up a date with you by Wednesday you make plans especially if you are a planner now if you were a go with the flow type of person then this might not apply to you but if you are a planner and then when Saturday Friday night whatever it is rolls around and now you kind of moping like man I didn't hear from him and but but you gave up on those other plans in the hopes of hearing from him no nah, don't do that continue your life continue to have fun don't get so wrapped up into this new person because honestly, truth be told, the new person might not be around in a few months. And then you got to go tuck your tail and go back to your friends and start your routine all over. But if you never break the routine with your friends, it'll, it'll be scaled back. But if you never just drop them like a bad habit, you don't have to worry about like, oh, take me back. Let's be friends again until the next one comes along. Which brings me to the next point. Do not change your plans if this person decides to come back around. 
If he decides to come back around, then he or she will know that they need to plan some time to spend it with you. Because you already got plans. So you're not trying to change your plans in order to fit into their schedule because that's exactly what's going to continue to happen each and every time that they decide that, oh, I want to hang out with her now. Or, oh, I want to hang out with him now. I mean, you know, it don't matter what they got going on. They'll change the plans for me. They did it before. So don't change your plans. They need to understand that they need to make plans with you to see you, especially if they are serious about getting to know you. All right. Your new boo will understand that. OK, you know what? I need to tighten this one up. If I know if I want to really see her, then I got to make sure that I plan plan ahead of time. And trust me, he will fall in line. Trust me, he'll fall in line. If he really like you, he'll fall in line. He'll make some time to see you to make sure that he is on your schedule. So do not change your plans. Number six is to make sure that you guys. Yeah, I'm waving. I'm wagging a finger at y'all. <laughs> make sure that you guys. Set your boundaries early on. It doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to be happy about it, but people, we really love boundaries. We, we do, because it shows that you have a level of respect that I know I'm actually going to like about you. So, for instance, when me and my fiance, when we first started dating, I told him you can't call me or text me past 10 p.m. Now, obviously, I really didn't have much going on, but he didn't know that, and he didn't need to know that. Only thing he knew was... You know what? This, this one I'm going to have to tighten up on. If I want to talk to her, if I want to call her, if I want to text her, if I want to see her, I need to do it before 10 p.m. Because otherwise, I ain't getting no play. And when I say I ain't giving no play, I ain't giving no play. Past, TP, past 10 p.m., even if I was woke, you wouldn't get no answer till the next day. Set your boundaries. And, and, and on top of setting your boundaries, you have to keep your own boundaries. If we were already together, that was not something that we had to address or even speak about. But if we weren't, that was the boundary. Don't call me. Don't text me. And as the relationship started to grow, I actually was the first person to break that rule. Because I felt like we were moving in the right direction. And so now I'm giving them a little bit more access to me. Number seven might actually sound like a duh moment or a no-brainer. But a lot of people don't do this, which is to... Only stay with somebody that you know actually likes you. If you know that they've been dogging you out behind your back, but you still stand in their corner, why? Why are you doing that? Only stay with somebody that you know likes you. And sometimes your new boo could seem like they like you, but they really don't. So when you find out that they really don't like you, it's time for you to move on. Don't just settle because they happen to be the new boo. Or you might feel like, you know what, um... This might be the best one or this might be the last one. And that's just not true. You set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up for failure. Number eight, please do this. Please do this. Speak up when something bothers you right then and there. Here, here's the reason why. Number one is because later on, the person is not really going to understand why you are so ticked off. And they're not going to understand why like 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 what's going on why are they bringing this moment up now how come they didn't say nothing when it happened because now they're really struggling to understand why you so ticked off and what did they actually do so when it's bothering you that's the best way to nip it in the bud you don't have to be mean or um bitchy about it just you know what hey i actually don't like when you do whatever it was that was done i i, I actually don't like when you uh yell at me i actually don't like when you talk to me talk to me the way that you just talked to me nip that in the bud right then and there and if they like they if they if they actually like you and if they're respecting you that will be nipped in the bud so don't just think that sweeping it under the rug is actually going to help you because actually what it's going to do is things are going to build and build and build and build and then one day you just gonna come out like a damn uh <laughs> you gonna come out like a damn tiger all day but I mean, so do not let those things build up when it happens Address it right then and there or when you have calmed down and you will notice that your relationship will seem that much happier because these little small things are not compounding. They're not building up on each other. You are just letting them out. So with your new boo, we have a tendency to kind of sweep things under the rug or not really want to open up our eyes and see this exactly what's happening because we want the relationship. We want things to keep continue to move on smoothly. However, 
If you do not correct the problem early on, this will be a huge problem later on. Correct the problem as soon as it happens or soon after, and then you don't have to worry about those things. Also, you will know if, if you are still repeating yourself about the same thing, that more than likely this person is not for you because they are not respecting what you're saying. They're not respecting your wishes, and they're just not respecting the fact that you have already addressed it with them saying, hey, this bothers me when you do this. Please don't do this. You know that they really ain't for you. If you got to keep repeating the same thing over and over again and not yelling because people don't listen when you yell. That's a different video, so I'm going to move on. Number nine, I want you guys to get away from the thought process of you won't find anybody else. Like, this is this this new boo, like, everything is happening with, with him or with her, and, and things are going just great, and, and nobody else is going to treat me like this. Nobody else is going to do this for me. Nobody, And that's just not true. You, have, you guys have to get away from that mindset of not being able to find somebody else. Because just like this new love came into your life, if, if the person is not right for you, guess what? Another new love will be right there. And yes, it might take some time. I'm not saying it's going to be like that person and then gone and then a few months later. Sometimes it happens that way. Most of the time it doesn't because you're qualifying these people and that's okay. But don't worry about the time frame if this one does not happen to work out. If this one does not happen to work out, it's because this person was not for you. Wasn't the best person for you. So don't worry about, you know, um, I'm not going to find anybody else. Like this person is doing it for me. Don't worry about that. You have to find peace in the fact that if you need to walk away that you do just that don't wait don't wait don't wait so many people wait longer than they need to um, to leave the relationship and the longer that you wait the more time that's wasted the more time you feel stupid afterwards and the more time you like how come I didn't do this sooner so don't be scared to walk away if you need to walk away because you are only going to be hurting you all right, thank you guys. Obviously, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 you make sure that you give me thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face on it. Um, because here at I Love Me, 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 what I'm supplying is the tips and tools for you guys in order to dramatically decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you guys so much. 